Here is a quick explanation of how I've drawn things out for the project management professional exam and the knowledge areas. What I like to use is an analogy of a file folder to represent the project management plans and the various different knowledge areas stored in it. I know it doesn't exactly work for every situation, but it's a nice mental picture. So this is what I use as your project management plan. And one of the knowledge areas, or with its own settings of plans and everything else, is the knowledge area of quality. And that's what I'm going to explain here, is the various processes involved in the quality knowledge management area. And there's only three, so it won't take us too long. First, uh, we essentially have to plan what is the quality that is necessary for our particular project. Hence the process of plan quality management. The output of that, well, kind of quite simply, as you might so imagine, is the plans. And that could be formalized plans of how we should manage and what more importantly, what quality is, how it should be checked, how it should be monitored, how it should be measured, the metrics beyond it. So we have what's called a quality management plan. Another output are your quality checklists, you know, how we're going to go about checking it and the various metrics in which we weren't going to go about checking it. Process improvement plans and also um, any other kind of documentations that support it. From there, we also have the process of, well, we're going to plan it, now we should go about assuring that the quality is in fact meeting the plans that we are well, planning out or setting out to achieve. And so in that case, what we have is the process called perform quality assurance. And as we assure it, we should be checking whether or not it conforms, whether or not it meets the expectations, the quality standards in which we set forth. And so if our pick is good, well, it's good. All right, so um, we have one well, maybe request for changes if they're not meeting the expectations and many other updates in our project management plan or just our project management in general or our quality. All right, well, when we do not meet the quality or the quality is not meeting expectations or we're just seeing where things are going wrong, we have perform quality control. And here we're trying to get things back under control, trying to make certain that things don't go further out of control, or if they are out of control, try to mitigate them or retain the quality that we set. And so we may be having the outputs of requests for change, depending of course how we're going to go about doing it, maybe some validated change to see if in fact the changes worked as planned, and various different updates including our verified deliverables and other work performance information and uh, that will tell us whether or not we are meeting what we set out to do in terms of quality. And we have then the measurements to back up our quality control. And that's a quick look at the project quality management knowledge area.